Welcome to Honest News. I believe it's going to become abundantly clear that the Catholic Church, Rome, is controlling the United States of America. During this sideshow circus that's going on right now with the <clears throat> whistleblower, so-called whistleblower, in this administration. I'm going to prove to you that this is none other than the Catholic Church. Several times the chair uh, to the committee used these, this term, good faith. Constantly, this was being used over and over, good faith. I want to share with you and break this down for you, help, help you to understand what good faith actually means. I believe it will become abundantly clear to you that they're not interested in the truth. This is nothing more than a circus and a sideshow to lead the American people astray, to lead people away from the fundamental truth, from the actual moral truth. So we begin with this word good faith. Honesty, a sincere intention. Now, by the way, you can be sincerely wrong. A sincere intention to deal, to deal fairly with others. Good faith is an abstract. This is out of the legal dictionary. It's an abstract and comprehensive term that encompasses a sin sincere belief or motive without any malice or the desire to defraud others. It derives from the translation of the Latin term bona fide. And courts use the two terms interchangeably. If you do a little deeper study, you'll find out that it actually came from Rome. All right? So now let's take a look at the word abstract. Abstract. And I'm not going to look at the surface, I want us to actually dive down into the actual root of what this word means. It means to draw away, abstract, drawn away, to draw off, to draw away. Hello. Okay. Now let's take a look at the word comprehensive. Again, looking at the root. It means to grasp mentally. Right? However, take a look at these words that they use that mean similar. How about universal? 
How about Catholic? Why would the word universal in the word Catholic describe the word comprehensive? And why is it that the insurance companies today use this word comprehensive? You ever thought about that? Remember, this has to do with leading away. All right? I may know that's Satan's ultimate objective. Right? That's what a decoy is. That's what a deception is. That's what deceiving is. It's to lead away. To lead away. Let's take a look at a scripture here. James chapter 1, verse 14. It says, But every man is tempted when he is drawn away of his own lust and enticed. Drawn away. Do you see, people, why the justice system, why the judicial system in our country is so corrupt? Because they're not after the truth. They never were. They don't care about the truth. It's corrupt. It's corruption. It's really, how do I say it? Sporting? Playing with? Right? It's sporting with, it's playing with its prey. That's right. I've been telling you for years there's a conspiracy to bring about a new world order. In order to bring about a new world order, the credibility of the government of the United States must be destroyed. Not just one president, but the government itself. The people must become... Uh, how do I say it? Not confident to where they're not, where they don't feel safe, where they feel that they are in trouble or being uh, conspired against. Listen to me. It's written in the Constitution that if a government, if the government becomes corrupt and rogue, that the people are to overthrow that government and establish a new government. Which is kind of interesting because that's what Benjamin Netanyahu was just tapped for to establish a new government in Israel. Why? What happened to the old government? What is this idea of establishing a new government to to put together a new government? And is that what's happening in the United States as well? They seek to change the laws so that they say it's to protect the people from corruption, 
so that there's checks and balances in place? Is that really what they're after? Or are they trying to destroy the credibility of our government so the people will be not resting? In other words, are they trying to deliberately cause unrest? Absolutely they are. Absolutely they are. Let me tell you, if your focus is on the government and your focus is on what's going on in this country and you're not looking into the face of Jesus, you're not going to realize there's a Judas in your midst. Amen. You're not going to realize there's a thief in your midst. Amen. This is the time of betrayal at the highest level. Betrayal. Every man for himself, and the Bible says they will be lovers of themselves, not lovers of God. Right? Everything today is to lead the people away, to drag the people away. And who is it that's doing the dragging? Is it Satan? No. It says it's your own lust. You're dragged away of your own lust. It's not the devil. He does the enticing. He does the tempting. But that's not the problem. The problem is lust. You're drawn away of your own lust. How can we expect our president and all those that are a part of this government to not be drawn away of their own lust. They don't know Jesus. They've never been born again. They've never been converted. How, I mean, you and I, as converted, as born again, have to guard ourselves, right? You and I, as born-again believers, as followers of Jesus Christ, we've got to guard ourselves against lust. Can you imagine what it's like for those that are unconverted? Of course there's going to be corruption. Absolutely. So why is it that you would put your trust in a corrupt establishment or a, a corrupt government why would you put your trust in man when the bible says cursed is the man that trusteth in man why would you insist that to be a republican that that somehow you're being godly because you're a republican that if you are a Democrat, there's no way you could be a born-again believer. It's not a matter of Democrat versus Republican. That's how you're being led astray. That's how you're being drawn away. More concerned with a party in a corrupt government. And let me just tell you, the, the government of the United States of America has always been corrupt. It's always been a mixture always been doesn't mean that there hasn't been a few godly people down through time but for the most part the government overall has been corrupt are you listening 
You know, Rome. Rome, people. It wasn't, think about this. It wasn't the Jews. It wasn't the Sanhedrin. It was not the Pharisees that drove the nails when Jesus was crucified. It wasn't the Jews. It wasn't the high priest that scourged Jesus, that drove the crown of thorns into his head. Amen. Of course, they were there, the ones spitting on him. But when it came to severe punishment that they were inflicting upon him, it was the government. It was the Roman government backed by Caesar. Are you listening? How is it possible for a rich man to not be dragged away by his own lust? How in the how is it possible for even Donald Trump to not be dragged away of his own lust? It's nothing more than a sideshow, people. It's a circus. In fact, our government at the highest level, if you become the president, you've arrived at the highest position of play acting. It's not noble to be the president of the United States? Why do you think they invite Hollywood in when they become president? Why would President Donald Trump have Kanye West in the White House? Do you think a real godly man would even be president of the United States? These are celebrities. It's nothing more than celebrities. And even God's people. They get blinded by the false light. Our presidents, many of them, have been involved in entertainment. Look at Ronald Reagan. Before he became president, he was in Hollywood. Donald Trump, TV show, The Apprentice, play acting. What makes you think that he's not play acting right now? Don't be foolish, people. What makes you think they're not all play acting? To get that paycheck. Hmm? To bring about a global new world order. Yeah, Trump came out and said that he wasn't against globalism. You'd think he was. So of course he's got to say that. But don't you realize that a new world order, a global society, he becomes even richer. The barriers come down. The walls come down. Think about it. Just as much as the Iron Curtain supposedly came down in Russia with Ronald Reagan and Gorbachev was nothing more than an illusion. Donald Trump building a wall around America is an illusion. To make people believe they're secure while they are bringing about a global society, a new world order.
please don't think that the secret society, the universal secret society, the Catholic secret society is not ruling the White House. You'd be a fool to believe that. If you're enjoying or experiencing the blessing of God, it's not because of America. Amen? It's because of faith in God and obedience to God. Because no matter what happens in this country, if you're pleasing the Lord, you're still going to be blessed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Our blessing doesn't come from this administration. Our blessing doesn't come through a government on this earth. Amen? Our happiness doesn't come through a Man-made administration. Most of you understand by now that the United States of America, the government, is nothing more than a corporation. You know that, right? This is about nation against nation. Nation shall rise against nation. The nations themselves are corporations. It's all about money, people. It's about trade. It's about making money. The more money a nation has, the more powerful it is. That's how they look at it. But what does the Bible say? The root to all evil is what? The love of money. So when money becomes the motive for why you're doing what you're doing. And all you do is talk about money and all you do is talk about the economy and lying at that. That's the root to all evil. Somebody's deliberately, deliberately trying to destroy the confidence of the people in their government. That's what's happening right now. Deliberately trying to destroy the confidence of the people in the Catholic Church. Why would they do that? Because there is a secret society, a new world order, And they know they got to get rid of everything else to bring it in. A new world order cannot take place. It cannot emerge as long as there is separate nations. They all must come together. That's what they're working towards. They're all on the same page. They're all working towards the same thing. See, a lot of times, they're hoping, they're banking that you're going to continue to hope against hope that your government actually cares about you. They're banking on that. That you will stay in that place thinking that not everybody's evil. There's got to be somebody out there that cares about me. There's got to be someone out there that actually cares about my well-being. Let me tell you, 
No one ever cared about you like Jesus. And no one ever will. Not like him. We can be like Jesus. We'll never be Jesus. We can care to the capacity that we surrender to his love. Otherwise, we're out for ourselves. We don't care. You can't care and love people if you're self-centered. If you're only concerned about your own lust. Amen? Please don't be deceived, people. They're not concerned about faith. They're not concerned about love. They're not concerned about hope. They're concerned about good faith, which is nothing more than something that is universal and Catholic, comprehensive. Hello. How many times do you see where people have comprehensive protection and it means nothing? It means nothing. Oh, I thought I was covered. Yeah, you thought you was. But you didn't read the fine print. Are you listening? I've said to you many times, the Constitution was written in a way that it could be amended. They did that on purpose. Because the founding fathers envisioned a new world order. Isn't that what George Bush Sr. said? What our founding fathers envisioned? The order of the ages. An ancient hope that is meant to be fulfilled. A global society. Listen, people. They're building it. They're building it. We are watching right now, nation after nation. We're watching countries right now that are crumbling. They're crumbling. The administrations, their, their leaders, it's all crumbling. You don't see anybody helping them, do you? They say they're helping, but they're not really helping, are they? Because they're not going to help. Because they are trying to bring about a one world government. And there's not a businessman out there that doesn't want a one world government. That does not want a global society. That does not want to see the whole world without borders. Hello. You got to remember, Donald Trump's the one that wants to drop all regulations. He wants to deregulate. You don't think he's for a global society? He says he's not. He's lying. He's lying. He is for a global society. He is for a global society. Every person out there that's a profiteer, everyone that's for money is for a global society. You drop regulations, you drop red tape, you drop uh, borders, and you bring the whole world under one government, boy, it gets a whole lot easier to make money. So you see, America's being sold out. That's right. But if he was to act as though he wasn't against the global movement, where would his support be? So he's got to get people to believe that he's not for global. But he is. He is. 
Why? How come you can't see the snake in the grass, people? Same reason that Joshua couldn't see, the people were dancing and singing at the bottom of the mountain. Because Joshua hadn't heard from God. Amen. Moses directly heard from God. The people have corrupted themselves. He told them exactly what they were doing. He said, they're down there and they're singing and dancing around a golden calf. He told them exactly what they were doing. Why was he so angry and so almost as if he was shocked and threw the table of the very finger of God, the tables of stone that God himself wrote his laws? God just told him what they were doing. Why would he get to the bottom of the mountain and put on a show? And while he was putting on a show, why would he do that at the expense of God's word? Put on a show at the expense of sacrificing God's word? Smashing God's word? What do you think was going on when Jesus was being crucified? It was a show. It was entertainment. That's what's going on right now in our government. It's nothing more than entertainment. It's a sideshow. It's circus. And no matter how much you tell the people that, they want to believe that something actually good is taking place. And that's what they're banking on. That's what they're hoping. Is the average person believes that man is not evil. That's what they're banking on. That's what Donald Trump is banking on. That you will actually think he's a good guy. That's what he's hoping. That you will be led away to believe that he actually cares. But don't watch what he says, people. Watch what he does. He's fighting. He's fighting for the homosexual community globally. Globally. Equality. Gender equality. Globally, Donald Trump, like none, no other, promotes feminine equality. Yeah, that's right. But not just for women to be equal. But if you know anything about Donald Trump, people, he's a feminist. Donald Trump is a feminist. He believes in the feminine power. Hello? But you can't see through it. You know why? Because you're being dragged you're being dragged away by your own lust. That's why lust must be destroyed. That's why We must receive the divine nature that we won't have that lust to lead us and drag us away. Having received the divine nature will be delivered from the lust, that corruption. Praise the Lord. The only way you and I will be free of the deception of this hour is by receiving the divine nature, the Holy Ghost, full of the Spirit, full of the Holy Ghost. If you're not full of the Holy Ghost, 
you can be dragged away, led astray, believe a lie, hope against hope, and never apprehend for which you've been apprehended for. Never finish the race. Make shipwreck. Swerve. Make shipwreck because of your own lust. Your own lust. Don't point your finger at others. Don't even point your finger at the devil. Your own lust. Your own lust. You let God deal with that lust in your heart. Let him replace that with the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in this world through lust. How do you do it? Receiving the divine nature. Hallelujah. That's what we need. The divine nature. Amen. There's a lot of things that could be said, people. A lot more could be said. But we need to see the problem's not the devil. The problem's not the government. The problem's not the secret society. The problem is lust. Your own lust. Not your brother's lust. Not your sister's lust. Not brother or not uh, Donald Trump's lust. No, your own lust. Your own lust. Hallelujah. Oh, my Lord and my God. Tell me the Lord's not speaking, people. You're focusing on all the wrong things. Your own lust must be conquered. It must be subdued. By his own divine nature. Sadly today, the world is believing that lust is the divine nature. Don't be deceived. Don't be led astray. Don't be dragged away. 